Hi, I'm Joe, and today we're going to take a look at session files and templates. What is the difference, really? Let's find out. So, in the Show tab, uh, you can save and load session files. And a session file is really a file that uh, contains all of the data within the session. This is saved in an EMO file, which is quite small, so it don't take up a lot of space on the hard drive. Uh, you can easily save it to a USB stick or email it to, to someone. And down here you can save and load templates, and as you can see, these are also emo files. So let's uh, have a look at what is the difference uh, between a template and a session file. So let's load a session file. Let's uh, go with this uh, called templates1. Uh, we press load, and then we have to choose if we want to keep the I.O. settings or uh, if we want to have the I.O. setting from the saved session file. So let's go with the saved session file. All right, so now we have uh, loaded the session template one, and here you can see uh, the eight first channels has uh, one plugin. In the patch view, you can see that there is nothing patched. Uh, let's go to the setup page. Here in the system inventory, we have my uh, computer and the Ionic 16 interface. Going to the settings uh, up here, everything is set to one second and the user assignable keys uh, are empty except for the last two, uh, which are set to copy and paste. So this is everything that's saved in the session file. So if we try to open up uh, let's go with templates number two. We press load and again keep uh, the I.O. From the, uh, from the saved settings. In this file, uh, the channels have two plugins. Uh, in the patch window, we can see that uh, the 16 first channels are patched in the setup. I have uh, some more uh, user keys assigned and uh, peak and clip values are set to two seconds. In the system inventory, we can see that I have a lot of extra stuff. Uh, none of these are active. Uh, it's just saved within the session file. So this is pretty much what you would expect. Uh, everything is saved within the session file. And when loading the session file, everything comes back. Uh, so let's load template one one more time, but this time Let's go with the current I.O. settings. And now, as we can see, we have the one plugin in the patch window. Nothing is patched uh, in the setup page. All the I.O. is as, as we left it because we didn't load the I.O. settings from the session file. Uh, but everything else from the session file is loaded. So the only difference is that we kept uh, the I.O. settings from what we had before loading uh, this uh, session file. So let's start over, but using templates instead. Uh, so first of all, let's uh, load this uh, session called uh, templates one. So again, we have the, uh, the session with uh, one plugin, uh, with uh, just the computer and the uh, Ionic, almost no function keys, uh, and the patch is all clear. All right, so starting from here, let's uh, load a template. And since these are all emo files, we can actually load the session called uh, templates2. So let's uh, load that file, but as a template. All right, and as we can see, we have the channels with two plugins. Uh, we have the patch from the file. In the setup page, we have all of our user keys. Uh, peak and clip uh, are all set to uh, two. And in the system inventory, we only have the computer and the Ionic. So the template does not change anything within the I.O. settings. So from what I can tell, and please correct me if I'm wrong here, but loading a template is the exact same thing as loading uh, a session file and choosing to keep the current I.O. setting. So from what I can tell, 
these are just two different places to do the exact same thing. Now for a future update I would love to see a selection of parameters uh, when loading the, the template. Uh, maybe I just want to load the plugins or just the, the patch or, or whatever. But as of right now that's not possible but maybe in the future. Now in the description you will find a link to my uh, templates and presets. And in there you will find templates for several different use cases uh, including this one. This is my front of house starting point when you want to get up and running uh, quickly. In this one I have the Chaps Omni channel on the first 32 channels. On channel uh, 33 through uh, 64 the Omni channel is in place but it's uh, disabled. Moving on the first 16 channels are sent to uh, group uh, 1 and channel 17 through 32 are sent to group 2. I also have a hall reverb, a plate reverb, a delay and a drum room. All of these are sent to the left right with an SSL compressor and an F6 EQ. And if you want to go deeper uh, we can check out the custom layer. Layer 1 is kind of a, a drum layer with uh, the first 10 uh, channels uh, and uh, drum reverb. Also you have group 1 and left right. Layer 2 is for the band. Uh, these are uh, channels 11 through 16. Uh, again the, the group and the left right. Next one is channel 17 through 24 and I'm thinking vocals and here we have the uh, two reverbs and the delay and then group uh, two and again uh, the, the left right. Next one is uh, channel 25 through 32 with the group and the left right and lastly we have all of the outputs. These are going to mon monitors, uh, we have the Q volume, the talkback volume, again group one and two and the left right. All right, that's session files and templates and make sure to check out the link in the description where you will find my templates and presets and let me know if you have any questions. Take care.